Chapter 7. It's time to make a plan to steal the wand. The sooner we get out of here, the better. That night, Mal and Evie set out for Jay and Carlos's room to plot the wand heist. With its widescreen TV and wood-paneled walls, dark plaid curtains, and high ceiling, Jay and Carlos's room was a subtuous blend of old money and statue of the art technology. State of the art technology, which typified Oridon. Carlos faced the widescreen TV, playing a fun simulation game with nunchucks, while Mal and Evie walked over to Jay. Jay pulled French fries from his pocket. Jay, Mal said, what are you doing? It's called stealing, Mal Jay said, tossing the fries onto his bed to join the assortments of other items he'd stolen from the school already, which included a few gold rings, tokens, gold coin purses, a watch, and a half-eaten pizza. What's the point? asked Mal. Well, it's like buying whatever I want. Except it's free, said Jay, pulling a laptop from his vest. Okay, so you could do that, or you could leave all of this here and pick it up when we take over the world, said Mal in a wide smile. You sound just like your mom, Evie told her. Thank you, Mal said to Evie. You do it your way, and I'll do it mine, said Jay. Die, suckers! Carlos shouted at his virtual foes in the video game. Jay, come check this thing out, he said handing over the nunchucks. Jay took them and stepped in front of the TV. His biceps bulged as he swung the weapon. Carlos watched him, laughing and whooping as Jay fought off the animated attackers. Guys, said Mal, do I have to remind you what we're all here for? Fairy godmother, blah, 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 said Jay as he swung. Magic wand, blah, blah, blah. Evie laughed at him. This is our one chance. To prove ourselves to our parents, said Mal. Evie stopped laughing and faced Mal. To prove that we are evil and vicious and ruthless and cruel, said Mal. Jay and Carlos stared at her too. She had their attention. Yeah? Mal asked them. Her friends nodded solemnly. Evie, mirror me, said Mal. Mal and Evie sat at the table as Jay and Carlos gathered around them. Evie lifted her mirror. Mirror, mirror on the... In my hand, where is fa fairy godmother's wand? She searched for a rhyming word. Stan. In the mirror, there was an extreme close-up of the sparkling wand. There it is, said Evie. Zoom out, said Carlos. Magic mirror, not so close, Evie whispered into it. The mirror showed a map of Earth. Closer, said Evie. The mirror showed the state. Closer, she said again. The mirror showed the town. Closer, she said once more. Can I go back to my game? I'm on level three, said Carlos. Stop, said Jay. They peered at the mirror, which showed an old building lit by blue lights with an engraved sign in front of it that read Museum of Cultural History. It's in a museum, said Mal. Do we know where that is? Carlos typed something on the laptop. 2.3 miles from here, he said, turning it so his friends could see. He went back to playing his video game. Mal opened the door to the room and checked the hall. The coast was clear. Jay and Evie followed her down the hall. Jay called Carlos's name over his shoulder, and Carlos stopped playing his game and ran out the door after his friends. The lawns of the prep school were dark as the gang made its way to the museum. After some walking, they eventually approached an impressive building marked Museum of Cultural History. It had tall, imposing stone pillars. Check your mirror, Mal whispered to Evie. Is my mascara smudged? asked Evie. She checked her eyes in the mirror. Yeah. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you see if you can find us the wand, said Mal. Sure, said Evie. She held out her mirror. This way. They followed Evie around to the back of the building. The group stopped at a set of double doors and peered through the window. their windows. A guard sat at the front desk, spinning in a chair. There were several monitors in front of him. On the monitors were iconic artifacts from all the famous fairy tales. King Beast's Mystical Rose, Cinderella's Glass Slipper, The Genie of Agrabah's Lamp, King Triton's Triton. The guards spun to face the doors, and Mal and her friends ducked. When some time had passed, they peeked back 
through the windows and studied a small spinning wheel on a pedestal that was a, that was a showcase display. Maleficent's spinning wheel. That's your mother's spinning wheel, said Carlos. He and Jay laughed. Yeah, it's kind of dorky, Jay added. It's magic, said Mal defensively. It doesn't have to look scary. Mal flipped open her spell book, found a page, looked through the window at the guard, and began to incant. Magic spindle, do not linger. Make my victim prick a finger. Nothing happened to the guard. Impressive, said Jay, shaking his head. I got chills, said Carlos, mocking her. He and Jay chuckled. You know what? Mal said, annoyed. She concentrated. Her eyes flashed green. Prick the finger, prick it deep. Send my enemy off to sleep, she said. The guard stood and started walking toward the spinning wheel as if he was in a trance. He reached out his finger and touched the spindle. Then he yawned, sat down next to the spinning wheel, curled up on his side, and fell right asleep. Mal let out a laugh. Not so dorky now, she said, smugly. She tried to open the door. It was locked. She yanked a few times. Jay pushed everyone aside. Stand back, he said. He backed up, ready to take a leaping kick at the door. Mal stared at the door and said, Make it easy, make it quick, open up without a kick. Jay ran at full speed and leaped to kick the door, just as it opened by itself. He landed on his butt inside the museum. Mal, Evie, and Carlos laughed and stepped over him. Coming? Mal asked Jay, mocking him in this time. The gang passed the lobby and ran through the dark museum with Evie leading the way as she consulted her mirror. Upstairs, she told, she whispered to them. They ran down a hall, a hall and up some stairs, then stopped short in a doorway to a room called the Gallery of Villains. On a pedestal, a wax figure of evil queen looked regal, sinister, and frightening, a powerful witch in her ultimate prime. Mommy, said Evie, her mouth slack. Jay looked up at a wax figure of Jafar, who wore full Arabian regalia, regalia, cobra staff raised above his head in a terrifying pose. Killer, said Jay, shaking his head. Carlos n gawked, terrified by the statue of Corella with stone dalmatians fleeing from her in terror. I will never forget Mother's Day again, he said. Mal stood in the shadow of what appeared to be a huge dragon. She looked up in awe at the most daunting and impressive display of all. Maleficent, calling upon the powers of hell. Mal remembered some of her mother's last words to her before she departed from the Isle of the Lost. The future of the free world rests on your shoulders. Don't blow it. Mal stared in shock and fear at her mom. Was this who she wanted to become? Well, the one's not here, said Jay. Let's bounce. Let's go. Evie and Carlos followed him back into the hall. Mal lingered in the gallery. She couldn't take her eyes off her mother's statue. She took a few steps toward it. She imagined asking her mother what to do. In her mind, Maleficent sang to her about how they'd rule the world together, united in their evil ways. But Mal wasn't so sure that she wanted to rule the world anymore. Hey, said Evie with a smile. Mal whipped around to face her. I found the wand, said Evie. Let's go. Mal took one more backward glance at Maleficent on the pedestal. She ran out after Evie and joined the gang. They looked down through an opening in the floor at the wand floating in a display. It was cream-colored, long, and knobby. There it is, said Evie. The gang raced downstairs, past a room called the Hall of Castles, which Jay whooping and leading the way. With Jay whooping and leading the way. In the wand gallery, they approached its sole exhibit, Fairy Godmother's Wand. It was lit from above and below with a soft blue light. Mal and her friends stopped at the threshold. Jay sized up the situation, making to pounce and grab it. Jay, don't, said Mal, eyeing the blue light. Again, Jay moved to grab it. Wait, no, 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 don't, said Mal. Jay shot her a swathed smile. He crawled into the exhibit, reached out, and crack! Jay was blown back by a giant shot. 
an alarm started to blare. Mal and her friends held their ears. A force field and a siren? asked Carlos. That's just a little excessive, said Jay, regaining his sus stance. Mal, Mal and her friends raced down the corridor. The alarm had woken the guard in the lobby, and he ran toward the noise. Little did Mal and her friends know he was just around the corner. Luckily, they ran in another direction. The group bolted for the exit, unseen, but Carlos stopped at the guard station. As his friends ran past Maleficent's spinning wheel and out the double doors, he accessed the equipment. Looking for the alarm shut off, the guard's phone rang. Carlos answered it. Hello? Uh, just give me one second, one second. He examined the guard's clipboard. Uh, yeah, yeah, no false alarm, he said. It was a malfunction in the LM714 chip in the breadboard circuit. Yeah, okay, say hi to the missus. He hung up. The alarm stopped sounding. He looked up to see that, that the others had left without him. You're welcome, he said to no one. He ran after his friends. The four empty-handed sprinted through the night away from the museum. Way to go, Mouth said sarcastically. Sarcastically, now we have to go to school tomorrow.